people are surprised when they come over and they say, gosh, I didn't know such a place existed. It's a beautiful island. We've taken good care of it for over 200 years. Where are the last Gullah Geechee, island-based Gullah Geechee community? Many people do not realize that. And my life is all most gone. All of the other island based Gullah Geeches are gone. The community is threatened and we need help to survive. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me on. Other communities in the area have been systematically destroyed. The culture has been wiped out in many ways. They have been uh, developed practically out of existence. We now are realizing that we have a uniqueness that should be preserved and should be kept as a part of our culture. So sweet, oh child. So sweet on a Sunday morning. So sweet, when the preacher preaches. So sweet, and the choir sings. So sweet, oh now yeah. So sweet, it it is. So sweet, and the preacher. So sweet, they get happy. So sweet, and the yeah. So sweet, oh religion. So sweet, ah. The festival is trying to focus the attention of the public on the island, especially the culture. Hopefully people would think that what they have seen is worth preserving. These islands were originally plantation communities. We were descendants of the original slaves that were basically tenders of the slave plantation itself. I remember my great-grandmother. She would walk down the aisles and church and burst into song, and she would be reminiscing about her time as a slave. Those songs were unique to Sapelo. Of all the slaves on this plantation, only John could read. Finally, good news. Here was a letter telling them that they were free. This is the way it went. Read them, John. John brought the letter, laid them on the table. Take all the members, read them, oh, read them, let me go. Read them, John. Read them, read them, tell you. Read them, read them, Johnny. Read them, oh, read them, let me go. One by one, two, two by two, two, three by three, and four by four. Take all the members, read them, oh, read them, let me go. Read them, Johnny. Read them, read them, tell you. When slavery was abolished, they gave the lands to the blacks, and the slave owners went back wherever they came from. All of this land up and down the coast was owned by black people. If we lose it, we don't have anything. Down by the riverside, wade in the water, steal away to Jesus, sway low sweet chariot. All those songs were created by our ancestors as escape songs on the plantation. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for the 
Through the music we are saying, this is us. We don't want it to die. We want to keep the culture alive. We want the future generations to understand where they come from and how creative and intelligent our ancestors were. We're a big part of world history. Wars were fought because we were here. And we are isolated, and this isolation has helped us to maintain many of our same customs. And, uh, and we are living history. It's worth preserving. The world could come and have a better appreciation of where we came from. <laughs>